ADAS is the UK's largest privately owned agriculture and environment consultancy and research business. I think the best thing about ADAS is the people. It's generally good fun. I really enjoy working outside. I enjoy problem solving. At ADAS, I can do both of those things. The best thing in ADAS, I think, is the wide range of skills and the potential for collaboration between different disciplines. I guess our ability to change and evolve over the years has, has been crucially important because that there's no way we could have stood still from where we were and we're a far different organisation now from what we were when I joined ADAS 35 years ago. I think that um, as a whole ADAS is genuinely interested in furthering the agricultural industry and I think that it's made, uh, it's made up of a lot of very brilliant scientists and also a lot of very brilliant modest scientists. I think there's some really bright and intelligent people in ADAS. So my role is really varied, um, I deliver a lot of the commercial work, so writing tenders um, and meeting with clients and I also work a lot with our clients um, writing mitigation strategies for European protected species. In ecology we provide protected species surveys, um, habitat surveys, um, protected species licences and a key one um, at the moment is biodiversity net gain surveys, so filling in metrics. Uh, to measure the biodiversity uh, net gain for our clients. Uh, nature should be at the top of our clients' uh, priority list. Biodiversity is really key to keep on site. We work closely with our clients to follow the mitigation hierarchy, so avoiding impact, mitigating, compensating. I think what sets us apart is perhaps our expertise. Um, we've got a wide range of expertise within the company. Probably say the fact that, that we're independent and we're sharing that independent knowledge and I think farmers really value that. ADAS is a really good company to work for um, because there are so many different expertise within the business. You can, once you've found what you're interested in, you can then go down that pathway and become more knowledgeable in that subject. One of the other things that's also really good about the job, um, a lot of the projects that we work on are collaborative projects. We work, get to work with other organisations, um, often in the UK. You know, so it's fantastic for you know, meeting new people, building new links, um, learning from others as well. I mean, there's a lot of interest now in the term regenerative agriculture. And I think that's a really interesting term because it's showing that farmers not only want to be sustainable and maintain what they've got, it's actually an interest in trying to improve what they've got. So I see, I can see a lot of the work that we're doing will be supporting farmers, and, you know, achieve those objectives. We are set up as a molecular biology laboratory essentially. We carry out uh, diagnostics for a range of clients, primarily at the moment for um, the ecology industry. Uh, one of the things we're looking at is um, testing water samples for the Great Crested Newt, that's a big part of our business. That's one side of our business, that's the, the kind of diagnostic side. And then we spend uh, a lot of time on our own R&D. We are developing tests for um, looking at serological markers for um, uh, veterinary um, pathogens, veterinary infections, and also moving into, into human health. Um, we are interested in novel um, serological markers for cancer being, being a, a, a big one we're going to be looking at in the next few years. Since I've been at AHDB, ADAS are certainly one of uh, our biggest contractors um, providing research for, for the benefit of AHDB levy, levy payers. We, we work with um, ADAS scientists on nutrient management, on uh, disease resistance, um, and we work with some, some really great scientists, but also people who have a great understanding of the way in which science can impact on agriculture for, for the benefit of farmers. 
also people who are working actually at the cutting edge of that applied research. Um, so it has been a, a, a real privilege to work alongside some of these people who know how research can make change, how change things for the better. I have had the pleasure of working with some great characters, some, some great scientists from ADAS uh, over the years. But I'm also very aware that ADAS is very much about investing in the future. There are new scientists emerging from the ADAS uh, school uh, all the time. And it's one of the reasons why it's such a pleasure to work in partnership with ADAS. ADAS, of course, has a very long and proud history in agriculture and farming, and also in environment and ecology and related disciplines. Another really important theme is ADAS's pivotal position in the post-common agricultural policy, post-Brexit agricultural world in the UK and beyond. So we've always worked at the interface between the people whose job it is to frame legislation and codes of practice and those who have to implement them at the sharp end on the ground. You know, I think there are a couple of things that really set ADAS apart. One of those has got to be the sheer diversity and skill base of our people. And I've been in the business a long time, but even I keep finding new things that people can do, uh, new technologies that people are developing in ADAS and new solutions that people are developing for clients. That word solutions is really important to ADAS because although we understand the science, we're really interested in how you apply that science to provide practical cost-effective solutions for our clients.